All right. Hello. Welcome. It is More Than Organized Monday. It is the first one of the new year. And we are back to talking a little bit about sacred money archetypes, specifically the connector today. But before I want, I wanted to um, just mention that because it's January, it is uh, National Get Organized Month. And if you want to find out more about getting organized with me, feel free to reach out um, via Facebook or other methods. Um, and we can talk about how we can help get you organized uh, in the new year. But today, I also want to talk about the connection between the connector archetype and um, the the organizing challenges that many of my connector clients face. Um, and so I, I, I loved putting this together, these connections between the sacred money archetype and the um, clutter problems that they have. And I found that connectors, you know, while they love to connect with the people in their lives um, and people are more important than money, um, that they also tend to accumulate the kind of clutter that makes them feel like connected to people. So it could be a lot of memorabilia that has connections to people in their past. Um, it could be a lot of books and ideas and things to share with other people so that you'll read a book and then you'll want to pass it on to someone to make that connection of a shared story. Um, there's often just little piles of things for other people um, because it's about the people, not the stuff or the money to connectors. Um, and I, I love that um, in a lot of people I, I am associated with and work with, they are all connectors. It is actually my last archetype. And so it is, it's on one level hard for me to understand this archetype. On the other one, I understand it completely because it's the thing that uh, scares me the most. Um, and so that's always interesting as well. Um, but the number one kind of clutter thing that you can do as a connector to help you navigate the difference between something that's in your way is clutter and something that's legitimately going to help you connect with someone else is to have um, designated spots for the regular people in your life. So um, I call them agendas and or holding spots. And what that looks like is a um, like a bin or a basket or an area of a counter where you collect the things for a certain person. So say you need to talk to your mom regularly about some stuff. You might have a list with the things you need to talk to her about um, and a place where you put the, the things that you need to take back and forth between her house and your house um, on the counter. You can do it with your kids, your husband, your employees. Um, people you don't see as often can go into kind of a generic bin in the car. And that way, when you see them, you can um, connect with them that way. But one of the other things that's great for uh, connectors to do is to have a place to have all the contact details for the people you want to connect with, right? Connection is about the people and how you interact. So if you need a place to a drawer or a book where you record all the names and numbers for all the different groups you're in, if you want to do it on a spreadsheet or a CRM, if you run a business, I highly recommend the CRM because it's easier to find things and take some time to map out some categories of different kinds of people and how you interact with them in your life so that when you need to refer a resource to someone that you can easily say, oh, I've got a person for that. And you can look them up by their name, the name of the business, or the category of stuff they might help you with. Um, I just wanted to look. I realized I didn't. New Year. I wasn't quite as prepared as I like to be. Look at that. SMA. Sacred Money Archetypes. Get the glare off of it. All the stuff about Sacred Money Archetypes that I use with my clients. I want to just pull the card um, for connectors. Here it is. It's really pretty. Um, so what you are all about is empowering financial independence through the value of relationships. So instead of just thinking about relationships as the people, you can think about them as what does it have to do with money? And 
not necessarily how can you get money out of the people like potential clients and that kind of thing, but how can you help them make money so that they can afford you to work with you or how to um, connect with people in that way that you share the resources that help them get successful so you can be more successful. That concept of you are the sum of the five people you hang out with most um, is really important to connectors um, and something I had to really work at to hang out with people that uplifted my spirit and my vibration for attracting many in the first place. So if you happen to be a connector, um, that's one of the things you can look at as well. Are you hanging out with the right people that are going to help you up level and, and make money in your business in the way you want to make it um, and are in alignment with, with who and how you want to be? Um, love that the connector has the gift of not overly stressing out about money because they're more worried about the people. Um, and there's always some faith and optimism of there's someone who can help with this. I know a person or I can find a person to help with this. And those relationships are valuable. Um, the one challenge is there's sometimes a lack of, of financial independence because of your reliance on other people. So you may always be out and about, um, I know I have a friend that does lots and lots of networking and for years never even had to uh, pay for a meal because they just kept going to these networking things and, and kind of grazing on snacks. <laughs> it may not seem like they're depending on others financially, but there was that little bit that came out of their budget because they were actually connecting with people. So notice that, you know, it can be a challenge, but it doesn't have to be a challenge. Um and sometimes connectors don't feel that empowered about money. So what you want to do here is actually reach out to your network of people and find some people that uh, know more about money. You respect how they're attracting money and, and taking care of money and, and get deeper with them. Find out how they do it. Um, and sometimes you get overwhelmed with basic financial details. This is just a matter of learning. Um, and because connectors would rather talk to people than sit and think, of their own deep thoughts, sometimes that comes up when you're dealing with money, right? You got to know a little bit about who and how you want to be to know how and how you want to spend your money. And sometimes that's some of the first work you have to do when you're learning about money. And so it can be difficult. But just know there are ways to overcome that. And that the more uh, comfortable you are with money, the more you empower yourself. Um, and so Leverage those connections to learn about money, get more comfortable, hang out with people who deal with money in a way you respect and like, um, and go deeper with those people. Anyway, again, it's Get Organized Month, so if you need any help organizing or want to learn more about Sacred Money Archetypes, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, see you again next week. Um, and we're going to go into this kind of back and forth, some organizing, some some. Um, sacred money archetypes for a while, but I will see you next week. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.